Welcome back everyone to Elite Sports Network here. Um, today we're just going to be going through the top five games for the college football um, week 11. Um, starting it off, top five games. Number one that I recommend is Baylor versus Oklahoma. Um, predictions for the game, uh, how upsets could occur. This was all going to go down in the top five games series. Top five games to watch, all that. This is Baylor versus Oklahoma is our first one. Obviously, Baylor undefeated coming into this one against Oklahoma, who um, they're both fighting for, you know, Big 12 positioning for the conference championship. Um, I think this one could easily go either way. Um, Baylor has not proven itself yet, I believe, and they've really got a tough schedule here to finish out the year, so that'll be very tough to um, deal with for them. Um... I would say I have Baylor winning a shootout, 55 to 45 in this one. Um, Lache C. Strunk is going to, you know, and Bryce Petty, I think they're just a little too much for the Oklahoma defense to handle at this point. But very high chance for an upset here. Oklahoma could easily show, you know, Baylor just doesn't have what it takes it to be a perennial power. And who knows where Oklahoma's at at this point. I think they could be on the rise again. So watch out for a potential upset and an Oklahoma victory. Either way, this is going to be a shootout. Next game on our top five list is going to be Nebraska versus Michigan. Um, both teams have had their ups and downs this year. Obviously, Nebraska, you know, not turning out where they wanted to be. Taylor Martinez not living up to the hype. Um, the running, the offense, not really living up to the hype. So we'll see how that happens as they take on Michigan. Um, Michigan coming off, you know, pretty devastating loss to Michigan State, 29-6. Um, really got shut down by Michigan State, Nebraska, you know, they're going to be watching the film on that game, seeing how the Spartans really shut down Devin Gradner and Fitzgerald Toussaint and the rest of the Michigan offense. Um, in that one, I think I'm still going to have to go with Michigan, though, in a close 28-24 to game. Um, it depends on if Michigan's offense can open up or not. If Nebraska can hang close, it's going to be a close game throughout. But if Michigan can open up the playbook, open up the offense, and, you know, make big plays with their playmakers, then they might easily have the chance to pull away. Um, next game on our top five games here is Virginia Tech versus Miami. Um, Miami obviously coming off that pretty bad loss to Florida State, showing they're not really a perennial, you know, a top contender yet for the title. Forty-one fourteen against the Seminoles was that game. Um, I'm gonna have Miami winning this though um, by a score of thirty-five to seventeen. Virginia Tech obviously has shown their moments this year, but they've they have to really make up for a lot of mistakes. They throw a lot of interceptions. They're just not quite there yet as a team. Miami has enough defense and offense to um, hey, hold them. What? Time to come up. So that's what I have for them. Um, for game four of our top five games, I have Oregon and Stanford. Obviously a huge game right here, number two and number five. Um... This is, you know, rematch of last year, Oregon Redemption, you know, they need to they need to beat Stanford, obviously, to keep the championship hopes alive. Hopefully, you know, for them, Stanford doesn't come in the way again. Stanford, again, they've had Oregon's number. Their defense is, you know, good enough to hang with Oregon. They have some big injuries on the defensive line. However, that might limit them. So I think Oregon can win this game. Um, I think this could go a lot of ways. I think Oregon does have the chance to have a you know, nice, strong victory, but I also think it could be very close. I'm going to say 35-17 to 17 Oregon. They're going to be slowed down, but I think they can get come out of um, Palo Alto with the victory. So, um, yeah, I'm taking Oregon in that game, but easily could be a Stanford win. That could go either way. And then finally, LSU and Alabama. Alabama... Um, you know, best team in the nation by far. Their defense is good. Their offense is, you know, I think even underrated. McCarron is a great quarterback, you know, very efficient. Um, the running game is still top-notch. You know, they're they're dumping points on opponents, haven't given up more than 10 points in game outside of Texas A&M. Um, I definitely have Alabama winning this one by a score of 31-10. to 10. Unless Zach Mettenberger can open up, you know, get it to his playmakers, then maybe this could be, you know, a closer 21-17 score. So definitely look for that to be a potential, you know, 21-17, a close score like that. But overall, I think Alabama can really take this game against LSU. So thanks for watching this edition of Top 5 Games. I look to um, have some more vids out there soon.
See ya.